That's a nice reverb. I have, uh, if I hit the info button here on this program, I can see that slider I is the aux reverb send. Let's turn it all the way up. Very high quality reverb. As we said, you can do 16 different units of effects and this reverb is very nice. I think it's a good entry point to how to edit these insert effects, how to edit effects and, and, and uh, program your reverbs and chorus delays, etc. Uh, directly. So here, uh, program number four, I'll hit edit. And let's go over here and find the program effects page, which we already know how to assign. And here, there is no insert at all, but there's an aux uh, send to number 851, uh, aux send of 100% controlled by this MIDI 28, which is my slider I over here. So if I want to change the characteristics of this, maybe I want uh, a longer decay time on this reverb. That's a, something common that you'd want to do. So this one called OmniStage sounds great. It's a three unit reverb, okay? We're assigning this three unit reverb to this piano because we need an absolutely pristine, uh, realistic room sound and this one was a good choice. So let's hit edit and see what we have. Okay, what I'm editing now is the effect chain. It happens to have one reverb in it, but it could have a whole chain of effects, each of them containing a multi-effect. I could have a distortion after that, and another delay after that, and maybe a Leslie cabinet, and then maybe a, uh, a compressor. So w this is the chain editor right here. There, uh, here's the pages of the chain editor. First is the first block, and, um, and I can see that there's an effect. And if I change, if I scroll, I'm going to actually change what? Here's a high school gym. Here's my dreamy 481, ePaul. If I double press, I get different classes of effects because the list is hundreds long. Here is a, a reverb with compression. Uh, so if you're wondering how we got the variety of, of fully produced sounds in the PC80 to begin with, it, it helps to have all these possible effects in there as well. Uh, so here's a laser verb, whole different class of reverbs, and another example of something that, that uh, is completely unique to uh, the, the Kurzweil technology. This custom chip that we use uh, is enabling not only the, the, the top quality reverbs, but many things that have never been used before at all. So here's some labor weight. Let's double press again, and I have just delays. This is on an eighth note. This would be tied to... Uh, so here, let's press again, and here I have choristers, and here I have flangers. Here's another uh, selection, phasers. So the double press will take you through all the different types. Rotors, good. I can even put it through a guitar cabinet, my Steinway through a guitar cabinet. Maybe I want to put it through a big delay and then through the guitar cabinet. Um, so why don't I insert a chain? This is the second page. I like this. Let's try another one. Here. Saturated guitar. And that's sufficiently uh, sufunctified for me. Let's see. I'll we'll use that. Uh, I'll hit the insert, and all of a sudden I have a new uh, block in my chain, and I can put. Uh, it says pass through now because it's not doing anything, but I can s start my scrolling and I can add, maybe I can add a big reverb before, before this big thing. So now I'm distorting a piano that's really distant. Uh, maybe I put it through a hall. Or I could, the next page is to remove, so the next uh, soft button is to remove. Remember, if the soft button is labeled in mixed characters, it's a function. It's not, it doesn't call a menu, but it's a function. Insert or remove these things. Uh, so let's get, remove that one, and I'm back to my single block effect. And actually, let me just go back to that lovely uh, uh, reverb that I had to start with to show you how to edit those reverbs. So I'll hit exit. And it's going to ask me to save this chain, which was called OmniStage. Well, it doesn't sound anything like that anymore, and I don't want to save it. So I hit Exit, and I'm back out to my Program Effects page in the Program Editor with the original beautiful piano reverb. Let's edit again, and now I'm highlighting that box, and I will edit that again. And now I can actually control 
all of the parameters of this particular reverb, first which, of which is reverb time. So let's make this a nice long reverb, six seconds. Now that's a powerful and rich decay, I like that. Maybe that's the only parameter that I really want to change. I want to make a nice long and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll hit exit and it'll ask me to, um, uh, it, it has this new parameters. And so it takes me back out of that page, back to my chain editor. And I can add more blocks to this chain if I want to, but I decided not to. So I'll hit exit. And why don't we rename this chain? Uh, we'll say it's, um, instead of Omni Stage, why don't we say Omni Hall? Delete that character and add a couple of L's, lowercase. Because it's more of a hall now, isn't it? And it offers me, since I edited the factory object, it's offering me the first free space, and that's a good place to put something. So now I have Omni Hall on my piano. Again, the Oxen mod is still there, so this is totally dry. And I can make it nice and wet. Very nice. Now, maybe I want something that's going to adjust a parameter uh, in real time. So now I might want to make this room really huge by a slider. Okay. So we have a nice Omni Hall now. We like this. Okay. So we like our, our new Omni Hall. Uh, now I would like to show you how to modulate parameters from inside the effects in real time. Okay, we like that. Why don't we take this reverb time parameter that we were playing with, and why don't we make it controllable on a slider? That's where the mods come in. So I'm inside the main page of the, of the chain editor, just one level beyond the program editor where I'm looking at the program effect and I'm editing this aux uh, effect called Omni Hall. And I will say mod 1 and here I have a page of modulations. This is similar to the modulations in the DSP functions that we were using in the VAST synthesizer in that I have the entire control source list to set up as my modulators including LFOs uh, and ASRs of my own creation. Uh, and things like uh, um, system clocks and attack velocity and everything else. Uh, I'm going to hold enter and slide slider H and that shows me MIDI 27. That's going to be my modulator for the delay time. So first I have to pick a box to modulate. And what that means is are you mo what mo box are you modulating in this particular chain? There is only one box, box one, and that's holding that reverb. So that's the one. I'm back to the mod page. I'm going to uh, edit that and the wet dry I don't really want to control that I want to control the reverb time here's my adjust now now I can actually just override the setting of this reverb I can make it back to a small room I can make it super small of course we're listening more wet than we might uh, in normal playing because I want to hear these remember my wet dry because it's my send is on the slider dry and wet why don't we say that the adjust is, is going to be nice and long. Uh, actually, let's make it nice and short. And then we'll have MIDI 27 controller, which is my slider I. We'll have that add 12 seconds to the delay time. So now I have two sliders affecting the effects. I have the, the send level controlled by this slider I, and I have slider H changing my delay time. Okay, I liked what I did to the chain. Now this modulator stays with the chain and I can actually, I, I might as well say yes, I'm going to uh, overwrite, uh, overwrite this Omni Hall because I've just added some programming to it that I like, so I'm just going to keep it and overwrite it right there. So now my program points to aux number 1039, that's in the user area, Omni Hall. So why don't I save that program? I hit exit again, and now it asks me to save this program. Number four, Horowitz Grand. Well, I'm actually going to rename it. Um, uh, let's, why don't we call this uh, Horowitz Hall? Mm -hmm. 
again, you get pretty good, after a few years, you get pretty good at naming uh, using the keypad here. Uh, so I say yes, and here we are. When it comes up, nothing, but when I move these sliders, there you go. We can use these mods to a great extent, and we can also use them for very subtle effects.